So, Japan. Back, I was introduced to a Japanese musician, uh, Hiroya Miura, and someone actually suggested that we should do a collaboration piece. He, of course, would do the music, and I would interpret it visually. And so we were invited to Japan to show the project, and well, this is the making of. The creative process. Yeah, so the creative process was definitely interesting. It's not at all as as working, you know, by yourself. It's for for a few months we send each other samples and, and images and, and videos and you know just to see what we wanted to work on and, and, and where did our ideas and, and tastes kinda meet. But I, but I got lucky, I mean, he was an awesome guy to work with, an awesome experience, and actually if you want to check out his MySpace um, page, so you can check out his music, I'm going to put a, a link somewhere around, probably down there, so. So yeah, it was, it was an awesome experience, um, but thing is, we had a deadline for this project, of course, because we had to present it in Japan, and as many of you know, your brain decides that he doesn't want to work until three days before the deadline. And that's what happened here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much brain dead un until three days before I have to actually show the work. So now, the making. Yeah, this, this project came in a time where I was totally and utterly obsessed with software. You know, Final Cut Studio with motion and color and Final Cut Pro, then also After Effects, and you know what I'm talking about, right? And, and the thing is that his music is so full of textures, and when I listen to it, I can actually imagine and picture in my head, you know, the, the visuals that would go with that, with the texture. And so when I listened to what he sent me, I was, in my head, all I was seeing was like wriggling, wiggling. Yeah, just movement all, all together, kind of. And the thing was, there was one requirement uh, for us to participate in the art fair at the museum, and it was that it had it had to have something to be with geometry. The name of the exhibition was Geometry. And generally, I don't like to work with themes because sometimes the music w just won't let you. You know, it's it's. I'm not gonna say that, oh, the art, it lives in me and I don't control it, well, I, because that's a bunch of crap, but I do know for sure that sometimes some music just don't work for certain things. Everything is useful for something, but not everything is useful for everything. What? So even though I don't like to work with an imposed theme, this time it, it kind of sued and, well, he was aware of, of the theme as well, so we kind of agreed and, and this is what he came out and... Frankly, I think it was pretty close, and it made my job a lot easier. Yeah, so after the, the music was set, all I had to do was bring it to life. As most of you may know, Apple Motion is a special effect compositing post-production software, which basically means fancy sparkles easy done. Nah, but seriously, Motion is an awesome software because of the simplicity, and, and it's so much fun. It's Apple. 
And now I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of how I made it in motion. But the thing is, I'm gonna make a, a whole other video about a tutorial on, you know, how to use motion. At least for what I did. So, I'm gonna post a link somewhere. Around here, I suppose. Uh, and, you know, if, if you feel the courage of it, just go and watch it. If you like software, if, if you're a geek like me, just go ahead. Go. If you want. That Because it's actually important that your shape is white you know remains without color and I'm gonna to explain to you why in a few minutes all right so so now we have the circle uh, we're gonna call this circle shape just for the sake of being organized yeah I should get my life back or get a life nah. all right so it was an awesome experience in Japan it was amazing. I met the most amazing people, of course. It's so it was it was different. <laughs> I, I I loved Tokyo and every single city I visited, and I loved every single person I met there. Um, and I I got to meet Hiroya in person. Yeah, and by the way, a big big huge thanks to Hiroya because it was awesome to work with you. Thank you. So. Yeah, pretty much the end. Thank you for watching and uh, catch you next time. Bye. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, just one thing. Here's a bit of an interview that was made to me in Japan. There's not much of it. Not much at all, actually. And the camera adds 10 pounds. Remember that. I, I just want you to see, you know, more or less the things where we were and all that. They're speaking in Japanese. You won't understand a thing unless you're Japanese. So here you go. が一番くつろげる朝日くつろぎ仕込み四分一新発売。くつろご。え、特集は登米市で開かれている幾何学構成アートの芸術祭です。開校になった小学校を活用しているサトさんの美術館。教室に入るドアを開けると。フランスのファビアナクルズさんの映像に仙台市出身でニューヨークで活動する三浦博也さんが音楽をつけた作品が飛び込んできます。How um, should I get viewers to see and hear your work? Like a child. As as simple as possible. What you see is what you get. And. いい。お母さんたちは手際よく食事を並べていきます。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味しいです。本当に美味